Oh my god, thank you, finally. Like, they're actually hitting enemies. Increases whip range and speed by 50%. Oh my god. Hey, everyone, welcome back to another Master Mode Summoner 1.4.1 episode. As you can see, the Blood Moon is here. So we're gonna try our best to get our hands on the frog. Hopefully, we fish up at least one Blood Moon enemy here. This because it's looking bad so far. I'm having troubles finding the uh, sweet spot where to throw my fishing hook at but there you go i think that's the sweet spot right here but yeah i've been doing a lot of off camera work i'm trying to get pylons set up everywhere but uh it's a little it's a little tougher than it seems sometimes there's been a couple of tweaks with uh how pylons and or how pylons are being sold now so hopefully we figure it out okay that's nice our first enemy gets away like that okay hold on let me try something here do that and hopefully that makes it better i don't know we'll see this is supposed to be more common i believe I think it is. If I remember correctly, I think the patch note said that it's easier to get your hands on the Blood Moon fishing stuff. But I guess we'll see, won't we? Really quick, I noticed that this area is kind of getting a little overgrown. I think we need a lawnmower or something. And I'm not talking about this lawnmower. I'm talking about the Lawnmower 3.0 from Manscaped. Yes, sir. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped.com. And they have hooked me up with the Performance Package Kit. In the package kit, they include the Lawnmower 3.0, a waterproof trim that has skin safe technology so you won't be cutting up the goods when it's time to shave it also comes with the crop preserver a ball deodorant and ball toner spray this one is for those nights with that special someone if you know what i mean then there's also the weed whacker a nose and ear hair trimmer so for anyone that has problems with trimming those areas manscaped is here for you don't think that manscaped forgot about your toes and nails too introducing the shears 2.0 a luxury nail kit for a limited time you guys can get everything i just mentioned and two free gifts the shed travel bag and the manscaped anti-chafing boxer briefs so what are y'all waiting for go to manscaped.com today and get 20 percent off plus free international shipping plus the two free gifts when you use promo code game 20 at manscaped.com your balls and your body will thank you let's get back to the video oh here we go we got a merman to spawn in finally we'll uh put both of our flinches in here hopefully it doesn't take too long i don't think i could reach him with the whip unless i hammer this let me let me hammer this a certain way that that, that might be good i think yeah there we go you gotta be careful with the merman because they, they can jump high as hell sometimes and drop something please okay absolutely not it's fine okay the blood moon ended and i got absolutely nothing but chum that was the only drop i got Oh my god, thank you, finally. I don't I don't even want to do this anymore. I don't even want to do that. That was literally the first one of the second blood moon. I don't want to do that ever again. <laughs> I just sat here sleeping nights. Got my bed set up over here, sleeping for nights. And we finally got one, and it was the first one. Thank god, because that first blood moon was fucking atrocious. But let's see it in action. We got to see the new buffed frogs in action. And they're already doing like 10 times better than they were in the past or in 1.4. Like, they're actually hitting enemies with their body and their tongues like i couldn't ask for any more they're actually hitting things period look at this they're actually like making short work of enemies this is a good thing because our next goal i got it set up already we're gonna take on the brain of cthulhu and i think i'm gonna use these guys we will see yeah that's our next goal let me get set up for that actually i might fish a little bit more i kind of want to i kind of want to get a couple extra things from the blood moon let's see what we can get we get in the loot now boys we get in the loot now hurtful vampire frog staff i'll take it is that a tier bloody tier if we ever need the blood moon in the future i'll take it i'm gonna die though I ain't, try, I ain't trying to take it to the grave. No, thank you. What else did we get? Chum caster is looking good. I'm glad that I stayed. Don't kill me, though. You know, it'd be nice if we got the, uh, what the fuck is that called? Shark tooth necklace. That would be legit the last piece I need here. That's legit, like, the last thing besides the bow. Just give me it. Cough it up okay here we are let me just clear out these enemies and we should be good to go actually i should wait for this health to regen but i'll probably get hit by another enemy knowing me we buff we summon in our fucking what three frogs if the frogs don't work i switch to the flinxes but the frogs should work i hope <laughs> they better fucking work they were they were doing good during the blood moon farming i really do wish i had a uh, shark tooth necklace for this i feel like this would be a nice thing to have a shark tooth necklace for replace my horseshoe because i'm not using the horseshoe but this is going good this is actually going good i think the knockback potion is helping if the knockback potion even affects uh, the whip at all 
and hold them back to the eyeballs, no problem, or the creepers, no problem. Okay, this fight went as smooth as can be. You now, I've said it a couple times, either in streams and videos, replies to comments, but like, master mode in terms of pre-hard mode is actually not hard at all. I think master mode really steps up once you get into hard mode, because that's when it's like, things will actually like one or two tap you there. If you're lucky, uh, an occasional three or four tap. Cough, cough, Icor stickers, those motherfuckers, they do not play when you get into master mode hard mode. Boom, bada, bing, there you go, two brains dead. Uh, now quickly, well, I guess I have three summons. I'm gonna go underground and just grab, uh, grab or just break the heart, the heart statues, wherever the fuck they're called down there. The uh, heart orbs, just so I can get the goblin division to spawn in. All right, so let us make this obsidian armor. I'm very hyped to see how good it is. People have told me it does a fuck ton of damage. I think we lose the number of summons but we gain a fuck ton of damage and it's obviously easier to get than the uh, b armor set because you gotta fight the b but yeah let's start with uh we got the tissue samples where's the guide let's talk to the guide we obviously need obsidian do we need anything else silk got it and then we create it at a hell forge so i do need to go to hell that's good that i started up a hell hole but i do need to go to hell grab a hell forge all right we should have everything i need i made a trip to hell uh died 44 minutes ago apparently okay i guess it was a long time i took a break to watch half a movie with one of my friends but back to it we are making the obsidian armor we got the hellforge we got everything else we need boom pants boom leggings boom helmet or hat i think i called the chest plate leggings long coat let's put this on we see our defense is 21 25 very nice damage 15 on that 20 very nice uh the whip 20 27 beautiful let's see the set bonus increases whip range and speed by 50 percent oh my god this whip has inches bro uh increased minion damage by 25 percent nice that's actually pretty damn good 25 percent that's a lot uh let's just go through each piece of the armor four defense nine percent minion damage six defense decrease your max number of minions and increase minion damage so yeah we have the same number of minions as we would with the uh fur coat but we look cool as shit no but we obviously have a better whip range and speed if i get my hands on some feral claws which i honestly might go out of my way to do then we will fucking i'm talking about johnny testing our way through the rest of this pre-hard mode playthrough i i know what we can get our hands on next we can get our hands on the tavern keep and get our first staff rod whatever uh whenever he decides to show up though we'll, we'll grab him but yeah i was talking about a little side quest i want to go on this little side quest here to uh, craft some of the new things they added to 1.4.1 and that is the new vanities they added in of course there's some of the coolest vanities ever made in Terraria or coolest vanities that they ever added to Terraria and I want to make some. Uh, problem is some of them are kind of hard to make. For example, black dye, we would need to find squid or whatever the fuck they're called. Uh, the ronin one, we obviously need a firefly or the wandering, my bad. We need fireflies, I don't have that. This one, we need bones, black dye, I don't have that. Oh, okay, the floret one is pretty easy. Maybe we'll make the floret one. Let's do the floret one. It's just dirt and silk. What about the helmet though? I think the helmet is made out of glass. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. But dirt and silk and glass. Let's make like 20 glass. I, I have a good vibe that that's enough. Probably not though. Okay, it wasn't. But boom, there's the bottom. Boom, there's the top. And then we just need the hat. Come on, it has to be glass. Yes, it is. All right, sweet. 20 glass. I was right there. And then we just need a day bloom. Boom, bada bing. We got the day bloom. There we go. And now... As much as I actually do like the obsidian outfit, I do love the new vanities more. There we go. Look, the little flower moves and everything every time we walk. Pretty sweet. All right, for now, though, what the hell can I do? I guess we set up for a queen bee fight. Actually, no, I have to find the tavern key. I think I'm going to do that first. I found them, finally. It took forever, but the man is here. Let me go ahead and get my free five medals. And what do we want to start with this time? I have no idea if i'm being honest probably the ballista rod ballista rod's always good but the flame burst is always good too i'm gonna get the ballista rod first so yeah in 1.4 we were confused about this when we originally got the ballista rod because we're able to use it without having to fight the old one's army and in the calamity playthrough we're not able to use it because you know in 1.3 you had to beat the old one's army at least once 
should be able to use the staff. So this is a great addition in 1.4. Not 1.4.1. This is 1.4. So we got a little extra. We got a little extra damage already. We're, we're looking nice in terms of the damage. We got good armor, good defense, good summon damage, good minions, good sentry, and a good fast whip with a bunch of range. Like this start is. 10 times better than the original 1.4 playthrough and that's one of the main reasons why i wanted to run it back but yeah if you want to tell the time of how long uh, i've been playing on the world <laughs> doing things we could just look at this death point again uh three hours ago but yeah i think i'm gonna end the episode off here i wanted to fight the bee but i think we'll save the bee and uh skeletron for the next episode but yeah hope you guys enjoyed follow the twitch bye-bye